Hello guys, welcome to Code Decode. So, till the previous videos, we have covered three types of bindings. That is event binding, property binding and interpolation, string interpolation. So, all these three were the ways to communicate between the template and the component. That is .html file to the .ts file. But there is one more very significant way like how my component can communicate with HTML and back to component. That is two-way binding. So, there is a way with which you can actually make a property exposed to your HTML, populate your data on HTML and as soon as that particular property values changes uh, like for any reasons like the user changes it or for any reason it changes. So, that particular change is actually detected, event is handled and the particular change is actually reflected back to the component.ts file. So, yes, there is a very simple way for this which is called as two-way binding. So, basically two-way binding has nothing but a syntax which is very similar to you. So, do you know the syntax? This syntax, the square bracket. Yes, you know. I have covered this in the previous video. So, this square bracket is nothing but a property binding. That is, take a data from the component and show it onto the HTML or the UI. So, this, this is known to you. And is this symbol known to you? This parenthesis starting and opening parenthesis and closing parenthesis. So, this parenthesis is also I have covered. So, this parenthesis says it is proper event binding. So, event binding does nothing but catches an event for us and sends that particular intimation to component that some event has been emitted. We have even seen types of uh, uh, event bindings that is the default event bindings that is a button with a click event and the customize event binding which we emit with dot emit method. So, I have covered every uh, thing in the previous videos, right? So, mixture of these two is known as two-way binding. So, in the square bracket, if I put curly bracket and indulge into it ng model, which is nothing but a directive used in Angular to allow you to display a property that is with this property binding and update that property whenever the user makes the changes to something that is to capture that particular event. So, this is how the two-way angular binding actually works. This is the heart of two-way binding. So, now let me give you an example so that I can make you understand how this particular syntax can alone get a property from component and display to the UI and capture an event whenever the user changes this property, whatever is binded to this ng model back to the component.ts file. So, let's start. I have a code so that it doesn't waste any of our time. I have this particular thing with me where it says that see the two-way binding. I'm going to add something here. This is an input. Now this is an input box. Okay. And this is ng model like I have explained you like a minute before. Correct? ng model. So, with this I have binded one of my properties. So, this property is a must property which I have to define in my component.ts file. So, here I define it as um, my, oh, okay, I can say init initial default value. Okay. So, this is what I have defined here. In this HTML file, in after this particular line, I'm going to display it again. So, this is how I'm going to display my initial value. That is my initial, initial default value here with this property binding. And whenever I'm going to change anything in this input box, my property here, the my input changes. And how do I know that it has changed? Because I'm going to interpolate, string interpolate here. Which, which actually says nothing but the real value of com of this particular variable my input of component.ts file. So, any changes I make here is going to change this particular variable and whenever this particular variable is going to change, it is going to reflect here in my, in my input. So, let me just save it and now we are going to get some error. So, let's go there. Yes, we have some error. When I F12, it says, I can't bind to ng model since it's not a known property of input. 
so what i have done i have used ng model directive i have used two way binding happily here but i just forgot to make input know that this is a directive that you have to use and accomplish my task to show the property here get the value from here and reflect that back to component so how do i do that how do i make input uh, property know that ng model is a directive and you have to use it this way so this ng model is nothing but a library being defined by something called as forms module so you have to see do you have any forms module being imported here no i don't have so what i will do i'm going to import forms module shift n control c i'm going to import this from at the rate angular slash form so what kind of library do i have it here forms module you see it here and i'm gonna use it in my imports so here in my imports i'm gonna use it i'm gonna save it now let's go back and i should remove it so great there is no error it says that c to a binding add here something so what this is the code i've written here if you can see c to a binding add something here and this is an input box so what do you see here is an input box and what i see here is nothing but my inputs original value original value is initial default value so and i'm going to interpolate it here that is why i'm able to see this initial default value here which i cannot change this is string interpolation this just shows value right now if i make any change to this so as promised by this ng model any change to my input is gonna change everything in this variable and how do i verify that it is changed with this string interpolation so anything changes to this input box is gonna reflect in this string interpolation i remove value you can see everything getting removed i say second you can see second i write third value it says third value so i hope this is put this particular thing is clear to you i have explained you completely it says that ng model is nothing but a directive which allows you to display a data value with the square bracket that is property binding get an event of change event with this prop event binding that is event handling and get capture any of any of this change send it to component file and then reflect it back with this string interpolation so this with these two lines you can completely impl implement two way binding it is as easy as that so if you have any issues with this particular two way binding just let me know in the comment section